Hey guys, welcome to 3D Parasite. Today I am going to show you how to render a jewelry product in a realistic studio setup. So I have this model which I created before. I will open it in 3D Max. If you want, you can download this model through the link given in the description. Let's go to the top view. Turn on the wireframe mode by pressing F3. Now create a chamfer box and adjust the parameters. Adjust the parameters according to your product dimensions and convert the chamfer box to editable poly. After that, delete the front facing polygons and adjust the vertex. Switch the standard mode to DX mode for better view. And assign a V-ray material for the chamfer box. Here we are using the chamfer box as a reflective background for the diamond necklace. Now let me turn off the shadows in the viewport. Let's create a dome light for the studio HDR. And assign VD HDR map as a texture. Make an instance for the HDR map in the material by dragging it to one of the material slot. Now let's create a studio lighting setup for this. I'm going to create a plain light. Adjust the position and rotation according to the protect. Make a mirror copy of the plane light as you see in the viewport. Now let's create a video physical camera and adjust the setting as per you see in the viewport. Adjust 
adjust the camera angle for the product. I'm gonna use the 3D Parasite render setting which is given below in the description. Let's try a render. Let me make the plain light invisible and double sided. Let me render again. Okay, seems good. Let it render. It's looking pretty good. All the reflections, reflections, everything is okay. Now let me save this as a PNG image. I would like to give more details, so let me open in Photoshop. Take a copy by hitting Ctrl J and hold Ctrl Shift A for camera row settings. Adjust the settings as you want and save. If you want, you can turn on the camera depth of field and render so you will get nice depth of field for the diamond necklace. Hope you guys like the tutorial. Please subscribe and comment for more tutorial videos. Thank you for watching.